listen, I, I'm trying to talk loud over my heat because it is chilly out there and I got her on full blast. So, okay, so what I want to do is take y'all on a ride along with me, another ride along of Steven's vlog. I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I know for me it's going to be different because uh, I eat like the same things. Um, now, it is true. As a couponer, like your snack foods, your processed foods, all that, those national brands, you get more coupons for those. Very true, right? But I'm here to tell you, I don't tell nobody how to feed their family and what feed their family. You do what works for you. But y'all going to roll with me and see how the diva shops and how I do me. We got so many food lines here in North Carolina. Me, one on every corner. I'm going to hit a couple of those and I'm going to go to Harris Teeter, y'all. This was a hell of a day at work. I, I probably... I'll probably try to do like a live video or something Sunday to address some things that's going on because this candle world and some other things maybe it's getting out of hand. So let's go ahead and get us a few things and then y'all watch me do my transaction. So another thing I like to do is check my exclusive offers. If you shop at a store regularly and they have digital coupons, a lot of times you have exclusive offers just for you. Like see this right here, it tracks your spending habit. Like I'm always buying granola, I'm always buying coffee. See how I have those? Although I got stuff to lower my out of pocket, you still got some extra coupons on top of it. Double up offer, two for four on Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Honey Nut Cheerios. Well, if I make it Cheerios, look, I get another, where's that coupon? Another dollar fifty off of two to go with that, making it two fifty for two boxes. You can't beat that. Off community and on sale four ninety nine. I'm going to go ahead and get a box of this one, the breakfast blend. Okay, we got that. It's two for five. We got the honey nut Cheerios. I'm gonna go ahead and complete this deal, but I'm getting it two for four. Y'all get what I'm doing now? So with the granola, I get seventy five cent off of one pouch, right? Well, they're two for six, that's $3. That's $2 and change a pouch. I don't wanna pay that. I get a better deal on this at Aldi because a bottle of this, a bottle. A bag of this lasts me a long time because I only take a pinch of it for my oatmeal. I'm gonna pass on that. See, all deals ain't good deals. You just gotta know your stores. Okay, this ain't been on the plan, but y'all know this my ish. I'll take them both. So in case y'all notice what paper product stores are back to this y'all so when i go store to store different walgreens rocking them you know two at a time this is why to be respectful so i don't clear out one store and again knowing your stores look at the game deal three dollars off of 50 to 65 ounce or 50 to 60 count flings in any other given case this would be a good deal but this week they're not on sale so i've never paid 6.99 for a small bottle and i won't dollar general five of 25 on saturday is the best place to rock those or when your procter and gamble coupons come out so again we're gonna pass on this okay so 9.50 that's 9.50 yes, and i got this that's for my cereal and then let's see how much i see yeah. what's that 2.50 $2.50 so that two fifty transaction, I got a dollar fifty back. So literally, I paid a dollar fifty for the first one. That's gonna be eighteen, but I got seventeen dollars in coupon. So she was like, "Well, how much transactions you gonna do? One thirty one for that." Okay, stop two. Same chain grocery store. Like I said, I don't like to burn it out at one store because I scratch these out over a couple of days. But on this stop, I really need some protein powder. And I'm going to see if they got some meat markdowns. I probably missed those in the morning. And just keep the transactions small and keep it out of pocket low. So keeping it kind of low carb, I love these on like 50. I take 15 wheat thins and put in a sandwich bag. And I measure that out on my fitness pal. But this is $3.49 for a 6.5. But then you got the 8 ounce for a $4.99. Like this is a dollar and 49 cent more and you're getting more so i'm gonna go with this one okay this is my jam right here 379 but you only get three right you get the 12 pack or the 10 pack i get out sam's club for 10 and change but see you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them this is a national brand this is store-bought 299 i do better with my coupons getting two of these I see normally like $5.29, this blonde rose. This is a splurge item for me, but being that I'm shopping off coupons, why not? Hell, remember in the other store, I made a $1.50 back, so let's rock it. 
So if you saw my reels and my TikTok, how I made the Asian, um, Korean, these like Korean cut short ribs or whatever they call them, I made them in Asian flavors. That's why I paid to ask question, y'all, because my meat guy, I asked, when y'all doing markdowns? Early in the morning, I'm off. So I can wait on this. And I think I want to do a day where I'm doing all meat. Because even this isn't a bad one. This is 11.27 for these thin steaks, pan seared, good for tacos, steak and eggs. I got $10 off coupons, so that would make me pay $1.27 for this. Basically, I'm just trying to get this just so y'all shop and like budget me stuff. Now me working at Bath and Body Works, I am big on hygiene and smells. I'm over here at the meat and I'm like, what does that smell? A oh, man, you know how somebody just sweat, sweat? I mean, he smelled like an old mop. Like either his clothes sour or... Let me hear him get home. All right, let's recap this day of discounting shopping. Y'all, this was transaction one. The toothpaste and the cereal came to $2.50. And I got $1.50 back from that, right? My sun-dried tomatoes and goat cheese. These, I did a $10 off, so these were free. This was $5.49. I did a $5 off coupon making this $0.49. Cent. I did this one right here. I paid $3.18 for both of these. And on this one right here, this was interesting. I paid $2.53. I couldn't meet the threshold limit of $7 for the lady behind me. I said, give me your bananas. The banana still didn't make it $7. I took her, I took her paper plates. That kind of made it $7. I paid $2.53. I didn't really have one pay that, but you know... She was patient in line behind me, so I like to do that. Just like in the other store, I gave the lady behind me a few. And then the grapes and the coffee came to one thirty-one. This is the one I think I got back the one fifty-four. Either way, even these and nice little Genoway came by the store. I tell y'all more about that, but either way, I use a twenty percent off. These rang at seventy-five, and let's see what my grand total for the day was. So even with the two candles and the 20% off, everything I just showed y'all, my total came to $17.44. Get paid to shop. Because basically those Catalinas from Walgreens, we made money. Get paid to shop. Something else I didn't tell y'all. I didn't take it out the car. My tissue and paper towels finally made out the car from this weekend for every two. Remember, I paid $2.88. And again... Check out everything I have up here. I don't mind doing small batches to keep your out of pocket low because you can hit multiple stores in one day. You know, take it out you may. I'm a household of one, so I do it worse for me. You do it worse for you. I'm just showing y'all how to diva does it. I'm see y'all later.